Alright guys, so I just got the Smart Sprinkler Controller. This is the Rachio 3. This is the 16 zone. Now they make different zones, uh, I think, or 4, 8, and 16. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm going with this one is, like it says, it is a Smart Sprinkler Controller. Very highly rated. This is always in the, the, the top 2 or 3 of the best sprinkler controllers that you can have. Now the sprinkler controller I have right now does not have any kind of uh, sensors or it doesn't know whether the whether it's raining whether the the, the yard has already uh, you know been watered or saturated so there's been a lot of times that I've come home you know while it's raining and I see my sprinklers are on because obviously I forgot to turn them off because it was set on a schedule and you know it came on and I know you can buy sensors to install to where if it's raining or if the soil's got moisture in it then it won't come on but I've never done that I've been here 24 years this is the the sprinkler controller I've got is the one that came with the house and I just figured it's time to upgrade this way uh, if I'm out and about I can take a look uh, I've also got a security camera system so I can take a look if it's raining um, if it's raining this won't even come on it, that's what's cool about it is it knows your address whenever you set the app up you put your address in and Rachio, uh monitors the weather cycles throughout the country so if it sees that it's raining here at my house it it, it says don't come on I, I mean that's a really cool feature but anyway let's take a look at this and uh, let's see what what it's all about so you know, it says here programs itself. We'll have to take a look at that. Automatically creates the most effective watering schedule for your yard. Watches the weather. I was just talking about that. Always improving. Uh, checking on your yard view. Watering history. Catch issues with the sprinkler system and more. Now, this also connects up to uh, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, IFTTT. I'm not sure what that is. And uh, Smart Things. Uh, I think Smart Things is a Samsung. Uh, app anyway like i said this is the 16 zone it comes with two year warranty and basically this is what it looks like it's got a magnetic cover that easily snaps off and on the unit sorry about the hitting the camera the only control you have is this four-way button right here and i don't know if you can see the, the stop the play or the pause and then side to side will take you from station to station but what the way you normally control this is through the app on your phone or uh, I believe you can actually do it through the computer too uh, it does hook to your Wi-Fi looks like it's going to be very simple to hook up and that's what we're getting ready to do so let's snap this back together let's take a quick look at the sorry I keep doing that quick look at the back pretty basic We've got three holes that it's going to hook up to one of the nice things about it is it comes with this little template so what you're going to do is pull that right off now you've got where the proper holes go so I'm going to go over there we're going to remove the old sprinkler controller and I'm going to mark the wall install the screw inserts get this screw to the wall then we're going to hook the wiring up um, after we remove the uh, original so it comes with a nice simplified manual. It doesn't have all kinds of different languages that you got to fumble through. It's uh, pretty straightforward system. Let's take a look here. There's the, there's the power supply, and then there's the screws right there, the little inserts. So let me get you set up over the other unit. All right, so here's the other unit. Um, that tube is the wire wiring coming from the uh, sprinkler valves. And let's open this. So this is a Weathermatic, and like I say, it came with the uh, house whenever we had it built back in 1999. And then, of course, you got the power uh, supply right there. And this has been a pretty good unit. I haven't had any problems with it, um, except for the fact that of course if you lose power then you lose your settings it does have a 9 volt battery that I never realized it actually had until not too long ago that battery is 24 years old um, the uh, 
the main problem I've got with this is it's kind of complex to figure out how to get it set up. Um, and I thought it was just time for something a little bit more modern and hopefully easier to, uh, to do. So basically what you want to do is take a picture of your wiring. That way you can keep your zones the same as you're used to. And all you've got, like on this unit, you've got the power wires right here. You've got the common wire, and then you've got your nine zones. And on the other unit, the power uh, part of it has just got a plug that plugs in, so we won't have to worry about these three wires. So all we're going to worry about is the common and the nine zones. And we'll be done. So, um, you know, this unit has got a screw right up there. Got a screw right there that I'm going to take out. The only thing I'm going to have to do probably is this tube that they've got goes up through this bottom hole right here and it's secured by this unit. So I'm going to probably have to, what I'm probably going to do is find a clamp, maybe even custom 3D print one, which is actually what I'm thinking about doing, and then uh, just clamping that tube to the wall we'll put the new unit you know right above this tube and that way the wiring will go right in to, to, to the new unit but the new unit the ratio is not you know obviously wasn't designed exactly like this unit to have a tube coming up through the bottom anyway you'll understand what I'm saying whenever we uh, get there so let me get screwdriver get you set up and we're gonna get this thing off the wall And what I want to do, obviously, is make sure that I just want to make sure that the cover will snap on. Um, with this tube. I'm just taking an awl is all I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got a mark, a 3 16 drill bit is what you need to uh, drill through the sheetrock for the inserts. So it's mounted, takes up a lot less real estate. Now I gotta get my pitcher so I can start getting the wires hooked up right. And I printed out, you can you know just do it on a phone and keep it on a phone, but I printed mine out so I can see it real nice. So I'll set it right there. And I'm gonna start at this end. Now the nice thing about this is you could tell they actually made it as simple as they possibly could because you don't even have to use a screwdriver so it looks like we've got a purple one here I'm gonna go to nine on that one and that's how easy the hookup is let me go ahead and zoom in here next one is light uh, I don't know if that's a gray or a blue. Let 
to kind of try to stay out of y'all's way, I'm going to use a screwdriver. That's the easy hookup. Brown. And if you had these a little bit off, all it's going to do is just change your uh, your zones. You know, if, if, zone, if your old one had zone 4 and you had these swapped around, it might be zone 5 or 6 or whatever. So it's not really a big deal. white is the common. Now the common, you've got two commons here, you've got two commons here. Zoom out just a little bit. These two white are common, these two white are common. You can put your common in any one of those four. Go ahead and go to this farthest one, not the farthest, but the second from the farthest. And as far as all the hard wire hookups, we're done there. Now all I gotta do is plug the power unit in, and it plugs in right here. And then we'll go set it up on the app. And you can, I don't know if I mentioned this, but so you've got an S1 here, S2. Those stand for sensor 1 and sensor 2. And then you've got a 24 volt. If you've got an oddball type sensor that's not just a comp, that doesn't use the common with this sensor 1 and sensor 2, you can do a 24 volt right there. So you can you can add sensor, you can add moisture sensor to the ground or a rain sensor if you wanted a live, you know, rain sensor instead of relying on a weather app. We got the power supply. Might, I might bump the camera getting up here to it, but not, not, wasn't too bad. And it plugs in I'll sh right there. And like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a clamp or something to hope to just so this is solid. I'm gonna measure this too. Probably model up a little 3D print to print there to where it looks nice instead of just a, a nasty looking clamp. But anyway, you can see it's kind of lighting up. So now we're going to go in. Now the only concern I do have is this is literally about the farthest point from my router. And since this is a Wi-Fi connected unit, I'm hoping it's going to connect up to my Wi-Fi without any problem. So that's that's the only concern that I have. Other than that, so far, it's been a uh, it's been a very nice experience. There it is, but it's all hooked up. Got the power supply up there coming down. I might be able to tuck these up inside here. And again, this just pops off with magnets. In fact, I think there is room in there to actually put that. So I'm probably going to do that. But once I get this clamped in the center, then. Uh, that makes for a nice, neat install. All right, let's go in the house and get on the app. All right, guys, so this is the controller when it's all set up and connected and good to go. You should have a solid blue bar all the way across there. And you can do some controlling right here. You've got to stop. You've got the play button right here, the start. If I hit start, it will start, uh, start from number one and it'll work its way over to number nine and you can skip those so I could hit I could tap you know left or right and you know skip to whichever one I want and skip back all right guys so I've downloaded the Rachio app I'm going to open it and I'm going to hit add device the little plus sign right down here uh, sprinkler controller I've already got an account set up. You can create a fresh account right there by clicking create new new home. Uh, but I've already got a, I, I went to the website and I set my account up through there. Now I'm out here at the uh, actual controller. I'm going to hit scan. I'm going to hit scan barcode. You can also add it manually. And you can see the uh, all the networks that it's able to see. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the 5G. 
And I'm going to go ahead and enter the password. Connect. Okay, it's activating. Got the map coming up. I'm just going to leave the default name. Now I'm out here at my zone one. Let me get let me get the camera so you can see this. Hopefully that's coming through. Then you can see the countdown on the uh, on the video there. It's going to do it for 60 seconds, and it's going to go to the next zone, and so on. So I'm going to walk around at this point and make sure that all the zones activate, and then uh, I'll start setting it up using the app. Then I'll do a final ending to this video. I was just going to go through the app real quick, uh, two, three minutes, just to kind of give you an idea of how the app works. So one of the main way, ways that I use this is see the quick run. If you click quick run, you can select any of your zones. I've got nine zones. And uh, if I click any one of them, it'll highlight it. And you click next. You put in how long you want it to run, then you hit run, and then it will run for that amount of time. Uh, of course, you've also got schedules. I've just got the flex schedule. It set that up automatically. I haven't changed it yet. I uh, haven't really got that deep into it. Um, if you click the, the main controller here where it says Rachio, well, first you'll see the uh, Wi-Fi indicator saying that it is connected to Wi-Fi and everything's everything's good. If I click that, it comes up to the top. It's got the uh, uh, your weather schedule. tells you the temp, uh, the high and low temp, and you'll see a little blue indicator down there with a little water drop. Uh, that's saying that it's going, going to water uh, the yard today. Uh, now, you'll see the real-time alerts for faulty valves right here. If it senses too much or too little current being drawn from a valve, it faults that as a... Uh, faulty valve. Now the bad thing about it, even though the unit is capable of doing that, I'm going to click learn more. You have to buy that feature at $29.99. If you've, you know, if you want real-time valve monitoring, you, you've got that option. Uh, flex schedule, you know, you can, you can adjust that all you want. Uh, there's all your schedule. One of the coolest things about it is as you're setting this up, it asks you what type of sprinkler head you're using. You got the rotator type, then you got the sprinkler, the regular standard sprinkler type. And you select which type you've got, and it will actually uh, give you a rough idea of how many gallons uh, of water you've used, uh, you know, irrigating your, your yard. Uh, weather intelligence skips, none so far. Uh, there's the actual gallons used and there's this, how, how many more is scheduled for this month. Uh, let's see what else. If I hit irrigation, there's all my zones. Gives you a rundown of, you know, when they've ran, when they're next going to run. Uh, let me just go back. If you click edit home, of course you get. This information, your weather service, weather thresholds. The weather thresholds, there's my uh, controller. I hit it. It's got a rain skip threshold, eighth of an inch. So if it rains any more than an eighth of an inch, it's going to skip water, water, watering the, the grass. Wind skip, if it's 20 miles. That, these were default settings. I haven't messed with any of these. And obviously freeze skip. If it drops below 32, it's not going not to freeze. They're not going to water. 
So you can see it's a really customizable uh, app. Here's your weather source. So, you know, it, it, like I say, it does monitor the weather in your area. If it's raining at your house, it's, it's, and if you were scheduled to uh, be watered, not just that day or the next day, it's, it, it'll skip until it feels that the yard is, is now needing to be watered again. And then it'll go ahead and reactivate your schedule, uh, which is pretty cool. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. If you hit, yeah, we hit that. Irrigation, more history, shared access, yard map. You can actually lay, you can map out your entire yard. That's my house right there. I could get started and I can map out each section that each zone uh, irrigates, which is kind of a cool deal if you want to be able to look at your property and see exactly, you know, what zones irrigating what and make adjustments, you can do that. Anyway, that is just a real quick rundown of how the uh, app works. I've been real happy with this. I've been using it now for about a month. Uh, and I love it. I have nothing bad to say about it. Anyway, we're done. This is, video's gotten way too long. Uh, but if you're interested in one of these, hopefully this covers pretty much anything that uh, you had any questions about. You guys take care. We'll see you.